everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a haul um, this is uh, kind of fun so I've got a small Ulta haul and then I have a shine by SD order that came in so first let's go through the Ulta things um, the reason I went <laughs> was for this I wanted to get the Juvia's Place eye prep eye prime in the shade 2 I already have the shade 1 and I really really enjoy it so I'm glad to have gotten this one because sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I don't apply shadows to the upper part of my eyelid. So it's nice for the base I use to blend in instead of it being white. Also, I did cut bangs. They're, <laughs> they're not fake bangs, but my hair just lays on top of them like that. Um, next, I picked up... Um, from Colourpop, they just redid their line with Ulta. So I picked up the Super Shock in Kush. I had this once before, um, but I got rid of it. So I'm excited to have it again because it is really pretty. And I was going to buy it from ColourPop's website one time when I placed an order, um, but it was sold out. So I'm glad I was able to get that. And it's in the That's Taupe packaging because it was from that collection. And then when I was in that aisle, I picked up the Makeup Revolution Soap Brow Styler. We'll see. So it's in this little like shiny container and it looks like this. Um, it says you can add water or you don't have to, which kind of confuses me regarding soap brows. I've never been able to master that even with the ABH one. So I thought maybe I would give that a go, see how that works. And then on, also on the brow thing, I picked up the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin hair and brow pomade. I actually grabbed two of these because they were on clearance for $3 instead of 6 So it just looks like this. You can use it for your hair for flyaways or for your brows. I did put some on my brows earlier just to see how it does. It's not my hair is on them so if my brows are not gonna they're not gonna stay on their own and that's not the brow products fault then I, along with the so on the color pop train they had a new collection it was the cabana I doesn't say on there but it was something cabana and I grabbed two of the stick blushes I've never tried their stick blushes before I got rum runner and shell out and this is what they looked like so imagine you're at Ulta and you just see these like the tops of these they looked stunning so I looked up some swatches and the packaging is really cute they've got little um the little Hawaiian flower I think and maybe I don't know it says there's no sticker it says the name of the product on the product so this is rum runner which is the darker one and then shell out is the lighter one um i heard they redid their blush sticks formula or it's just gotten better i'm not sure so i decided to try them I hope for the best because they're lighter colors then i picked up two brushes so I decided to get the e.l.f. putty blush, sorry, putty primer. Um, I plan on using this as a blush brush though. It does have this little scoop for the primer, um, but I have a hard time applying their blushes. So I'm thinking maybe if I use like the official brush, it'll work. And then since I've been into creams with my Salt New York palette, I decided to get the light layer highlighting brush from Real Techniques. These were BOGO, but I just got one. I have all the other ones. They're some of my favorite cream product brushes. I'll show you. So I've got the light layer of powder, which I can only use this with powders. And then this is the light layer complexion. And I used this with the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint last summer. Um, it worked out really well. And then I have two of these, um, but this is the light layer blush brush. It's really nice for cream blushes, but it's only good for ones that are super pigmented and creamy. Um, because the brush is kind of flimsy, which is why I'm thinking for the e.l.f. ones, the more firmer brush will be good. So I think I'm going to use this for a cream highlight with my Salt New York palette. I suppose I could try it with concealer, see how that goes, um, but I really bought it for highlight, so I don't have to use my finger if I don't want to, because sometimes, 
sometimes I just want to be a brush girl. Um, with my ColourPop products, I actually got this free bag from Ulta. And it smells, you know, the way like a plastic pool smells in the middle of the summer, that good smell, that good like pool. The floaties, the um, those blow up couch chairs from like 2002. The blow up hammers, the big ones. Um, the blow up little like rock'em sock'em things. It's a good smell. I know. It's a good size bag though. I think it was free with either a $15 or a $20 purchase. But so keep in mind I bought the two blushes and then the super shock. So that added up. Um, and keep in mind, the reason I went to Ulta was for this. And this alone. But that's okay. It was a little drugstore haul. Um, I don't really go to Ulta much anymore since I um, I stopped working there. Um, I only I worked there a short period of time. The, um, I bought something like every day I bought stuff when I worked there. Um, so it's a lot better now that I don't. So let's get on to the fun stuff. This is the Shine by SD order. And I'm very excited. So I actually ordered a palette from them. I was able to get it. Um, I was at work the day that this launched and I really didn't think I was going to be able to catch it. I figured, you know, if I can... I will, and it wasn't a pre-order. It wasn't a pre-order or anything. I was able to just get it. So let's look. We've got packing peanuts. I think these are the water soluble ones. Oh, how exciting! Okay, I've got my little thank you. Shine by SD. Okay, I've got some eyeshadows, and then we've got the palette. So I do have a handful of shadows from them already. I have the Will of the Wisp bundle. That was a collab with M. Jones. And then I have a few of their Dynasty collection. The first ones. So this is the wrong palette. They're in this one. So I bought the Book of Shadows, or the Book of Shades from Colored Rain. And on the second page here, this bottom half, this is my, oh, sorry. Jeez. The bottom half of this is Shine by SD. So let's put these new babies in for their house. And I will swatch them. And I'll insert that once we're done opening them. All right. And these come, I forgot. So... My last set that I ordered did not come like this. They came in proper um, cardboard, little the little components that single shadows come in. But these seem to be in those little round tubs. So let's hope no one is broken. What is this? What color is this? Oh my god. I'm thinking about getting two more and I'm going to make that decision after swatching these. Okay, let's start with this one. This was from the original Dynasty collection. I I picked up everyone else. Okay, get out of there. I, had a, I have a friend that said she's had a really hard time getting these out of their containers. Okay, well, I'll just show you it and I'll get them out after. So this is the shade Flirtatious. And then these are the new bundle. So let's start with No Limit. This is a yellow with a red, bit of a red flip to it. I don't know if you're going to be able to catch any of that on camera. I hope I can get these out. And then we have Retro which is like a tealy green with like a purpley bluey shift kind of a thing. So there is that one. This is retro. I will swatch these on my Instagram as well and that will be linked down below if you want to see um, swatches that don't move. 
because the ones I insert in the video are going to be moving. Um, and then this is Unexplainable. And I've heard that this is a dupe for one of the shades from Terra Moons. So we shall see. And then with the palette, I can't even remember what it's called. The Enchantment palette. Um, had a lot of blues. Um, and these have been packed relatively well. I've not had... Um, I did have one broken shade when I ordered the Will of the Wisp bundle, but it was okay. All right, so this is what the outer component looks like. Just plain, a little bit of ingredients. All right, I'm going to look at this to make sure nothing is broken. Okay, nothing's broken. They just packed it. They packed the eyeshadows the way that they, they packed the singles, so it's got the little, like, bubbly thing over over them which you know what better better safe than sorry I just it's they're hard to pick up these little so this definitely has a lot of blues in it but I've been kind of into blue I don't know if you guys have noticed I've been kind of into blue oof the flip you can see on this one shade so here's the palette and the shade Wander flips really visibly. All right. Well, I'm excited for that. So that's it for the haul portion of today's video. Um, please check out my Instagram for swatches all the time of everything, always. Um, definitely comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to insert all my swatches. Now is I'm going to swatch the Dynasty Collection on the back of my arm and then I'm going to swatch the palette on the inside of my arm. So let's start with, let's start with the new three on the top. So we've got No Limit, Unexplainable, and Retro. So I'm going to just one, two, three, one, two, three. So, no limit. Unexplainable. And retro. I don't think you're going to be able to catch any of the flips. Okay, and then I'm going to swatch some of the old ones. Um, so we're going to do, I just got to check the names of these. Temperature rising. Okay, so temperature rising. Glam Rush, So Tempting, and Flirtatious, which is the one I just recently picked up, and these are all different shades of purple. So again, we have Temperature Rising, Glam Rush, So Tempting, I'll switch that a little bit more. On a weirder part of my arm. And then Flirtatious is the one that I just picked up. And the last one of these is um, Perked Up, which is a green. Perked Up. I'm gonna shut my window. Do 
you can definitely see the flip and no limit really well. So this is what I have from the Dynasty collection. And it looks really pretty. Um, next, I want to go in and swatch the palette. So we're going to do this the way we did the Menagerie one. And I'm going to just swatch down my arm. Amy loves makeup style. So, yeah. So it'll be, we're, we're going to go, mm, let's go across. So Mystical, Frozen, Royalty. Oh my god, these are a bit chunky, but chunky's okay. Oh my god. Mystical. Frozen. Oh my god. And royalty. Royalty is a lot thinner of a formula. Holy moly. Okay. And then we have Frosty. One, two, three. Destiny. Passion. Oh my god, okay. Frosty. That's beautiful. Destiny. Passion. Passion's a bit unique. And then we have Forever. Wander oh, and Captivating. Okay, these are really thick. Forever. Wander. And Captivating. So that is the Enchantment palette by Shine by SD. So I'm really most excited for a Mystical was really pretty. Frosty, um, Destiny, this iridescent shade. Weirdly, Passion looks like it'll be really pretty neutral, and Forever was pretty cool. Uh, Wander, I'm also excited for. And then on these guys, now looking at them, they look kind of similar. Um, I do know, in Bad to the Brow, uh, she did a video, all the purples are quite similar, but they're different. These two greens look kind of similar, but this is blue when I'm looking at it here, and it's pinkish here. Um, Unexplainable is really pretty. And then No Limit is really, the flip on that is so intense. So if you were looking to purchase from Chambasti, I would say it's worth it. They've shipped really fast for me. Um, I've only done, I think one of my orders from them was a pre-order, so it took a little bit longer. But other than that, their shipping's really fast. I have not had any issues with them, and I think I might go and order a hottie. because why not? There's room in my palette for it. That's enough for me. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for watching today's video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Please follow my Instagram for more swatches, and let me know down below any products you want to see me use. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!